Before we get started today, I just want to remind you that I'm working from the fifth edition of the Helen Joseph Armstrong Pattern Making Book. So if I refer to pages, um, I will also give you the titles that um, I'm using of the exercises that we will be reviewing in case you have other editions. We're going to start with a quick review of drafting a lapel and a collar. So I'm on page 468. This is chapter 22. So we know we're, we start out by working with our jacket sloper in which um, your armholes have been lowered and there's been all kinds of adjustments to make sure that the jacket will go over another garment. Um, here we've built in a little bit for the collar stand to develop the angle of our roll line. You have to here, there's the one, in ex one inch extension, but that extension really depends on your button. Of course, you always want to keep track, no matter what you do, of dead center front. At dead center front is the dead center of the button. So you have to remember that, that the buttons will go right here, dead center, on the center front line. So this is where the extension comes in. So usually it's half the size of the button plus three-eighths of an inch. Some drafters use a quarter. I actually always like a little bit more, but again it's a preference. But it has to be at least a half inch away. So half the button plus half inch over. That will determine what your extension is. And then of course you have to determine your break point and where you want the jacket to, to break and how deep you want in the V. So then you have the collar stand, the allowance for the collar stand then gets a, um, connected from the shoulder to the break point. And then of course you're going to turn your pattern to fold your paper so that will end up being your extension for your lapel. So it, in plotting out and planning your lapel, you can see here real easily where exactly you need to place it and what it's going to look like on the body, which is why I like this drafting, because you almost get a taste of what it's going to look like on the body. So you can draw it right on to your sloper, and then you can trace through and we'll open it up. I'll get to that in a minute. So now what you've done is you've kind of decided where that lapel is going to be, where that lower lapel is going to be, and that whatever's left over there, that becomes part of your collar pattern. Now I'm on page 469, and you can see here is where the development of the collar happens. So you've got your measurement from in this example, G to I, plus there's usually like about an eighth or a split hair of more than an eighth added to that. And that measurement uh, is determined by measuring the back of your pattern, the neckline of your torso, your back torso. So you're going to measure the neckline of your back torso. Of course, that's going to be half of it because this goes all the way around. Um, and then now you can actually see how this is coming. Your collar actually is going to come into part of the lapel, the lower lapel, um, and then continue through this right through center front up to the shoulder and then from the shoulder up to the back is, can, is the back of the collar. Okay, you can see it very simply here. Actually, this picture really tells you almost everything you need to know. So this is in the, what we've been talking about in lapel styles. And we talked about, uh, the other day I spoke about this, dis this distance right here. Zoom in on it. The distance that you see here, this gap, the notch between the collar and the lapel, that's the area you can play with. You can shape this, you can open it up. Sometimes you see them even a butt all the way. And if you go through your book, you can see many examples of different ways to handle this. Very close, opened up. So 
as long as they're lining up into the lapel, even if it's just a little bit, this again, I'm what I'm reviewing is a traditional draft. So this is your chance. Hopefully you did this in flat pattern too, and this is your chance to now vary and try something new.